Why Mira and Dharam had dysfunctional relationship in Sath Nibbana Satya. The biggest thing expected in marriage is love. This is what Mira and Dharam missed like thirsty people. They loved and respected each other deeply. But still their marriage was dysfunctional. Do you know why? Gora conspired Mira to marry Dharam to take revenge on Vidya. At that time, Mira didn't think about their age gap. The spoilt brat Mira was. She focused too much on getting back on others. She thought even after marriage, I will keep getting what I wanted as usual. Her narrow mind couldn't take the complications that come with marriage. But as a girl brought up without her mother, Mira didn't expect any comfort from the marriage either. Even after marriage, she kept standing up for herself, took care of herself without expecting any support from Dharam. Sometimes, I would like to say, Mira, stop. Take a break from yourself. Don't burden yourself by doing everything. But alas, I couldn't. Because deep inside somewhere, I knew, Dharam is too old to meet her childish needs. Dharam is an old man who is more likely to spend time with himself instead of giving his attention to Mira. Even if they spend time together, it's less likely they could go on with their different interests. As a young soul, Mira looked seductive, and loved to try wilder things. Mira dreamt of something spicy and exciting, while Dharam may love the ideas that brought calmness. Why were they still together in the marriage then? Mira was exciting herself, so she didn't like another guy like her. Dharam was mature, which made her felt calm and carefree as there were less expectations. Besides, Dharam was a family man which was good for Mira to plan future family with him. Dharam liked how innocent Mira was, though she was a little bit talkative with razor tongue. Mira's intimidating personality added life in his mundane life. So, even their marriage lacked attraction and emotional closeness, they got along with each other calmly.